Welcome to this Schoology tutorial for the Bethlehem Area School District. In this video, we'll take a look at the new Schoology interface and experience coming in the summer of 2018. Schoology is updating its interface and workflows to make it even easier to use with better accessibility and a more modern experience. Let's take a look. The new experience includes a new top navigation and footer area and removes the left navigation from the home page, making it easier to access all of your tools throughout Schoology and simpler for instructors and students to get things done with a more streamlined workflow. So in essence, there was a home button here or link here and you would go to that page or this page actually and you'd have items here that were only accessible from this home page which meant that if you wanted to go back to it you had to click back to that home page. Well they've taken those items from here and they now put them into this menu bar up here which is going to be there no matter where you are in Schoology, making it accessible all the time. So other than that, we have uh, familiar things such as recent activity and upcoming events, which you're used to now, as well as the course, groups, and resources menus, and some uh, communication tools over here, and I'll talk about them later in the video. But first, let's talk about the uh, courses. How do we get into a course? Well, there are gonna be two ways now. You can click on the courses menu to see the card-based menu of all the courses in which you're a teacher or student. So you'd see the course picture here. If you have more than eight courses, you could click on the see all to see a listing of all of your courses. The second way that you'll be able to access courses is through this course dashboard. So clicking on this will provide this additional visual card layout which is a great addition for younger learners. And it also makes it even more important for teachers to have meaningful course pictures here to help students with the navigation. So two ways, through the courses and the course dashboard area. Groups is very similar to the courses menu where when you click on it, it expands a card-based menu of the groups in which you are enrolled. And resources is very familiar and similar to the way that it works now where you can search for resources, store and access personal resources in Schoology, access public and group resources, and access uh, resource apps, such as the Google Drive resource app, where you can access your Google Drive from within Schoology. So let's take a look at uh, this area up here on the upper right navigation, and I'm going to blow that up. So the tools here, we have the search uh, function where you can search people, courses, and groups. Here's where your apps are now. Um, you can view any apps installed at the system level and through the App Center. Your calendar, you can view, view your master calendar with personal, group, course, and school events, as well as your Schoology messages. Send a message and view your sent and received messages with other Schoology users. And then here is the notifications area. And they now have notifications and requests under the same uh, icon. When you click on that, you'll see a menu with notifications on the left and requests on the right that you can attend to. The teacher and student menu bar are very similar with the exception of the student menu bar has a grades area. So students can access their grades no matter where they are in Schoology and then the new site footer. So some of these things are familiar, but there are some new things down here. So first we have the language selector where you can set the language of your Schoology experience, such as the menus in Schoology, change them to another language. The support area is now down here instead of that little question mark in the upper right hand corner, it's down in the footer you can access the uh, support contacts for the district as well as Schoology Help Center and community forums. You can read about Schoology news on the Schoology blog through this link and then view the privacy and terms of use. And that concludes this video about the new Schoology interface and experience. Thank you.